Hello, my name is Darren Hart, Senior Service Technician at Raypack. After watching this video, you will be able to connect a two-wire remote to a Raypack and Ream digital pool and spa heater. This instructional video is intended for a remote with a dry contact. If you are trying to connect a remote that provides power to our heater, contact the factory for additional help. Pintair and Jandy are examples of remote manufacturers that may be used. The tools you will need are a drill with a Phillips bit or Phillips screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and wire strippers. The materials you will need are 22 gauge wire for runs under 30 feet or 20 gauge wire for runs over 30 feet with a maximum run of 200 feet and rigid or flexible conduit. Verify the following before starting. Power has been shut off to the unit. Gas has been shut off to the unit. System pump has been shut off. ESD electrostatic discharge damage can be caused by direct or indirect contact with the wiring or circuit board. This damage can be limited if the service person discharges himself by holding on to the heater enclosure for five seconds before proceeding. Make sure that the remote wiring has been run through separate conduit. The remote wiring must not run parallel with high voltage wiring. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the knurled thumb screw on the door assembly. Pull the door assembly off and set it aside. Remove the four Phillips screws on the upfront control panel. Pull the top and it will pivot towards you to expose the control box. Locate the two remote wires coming in from the side of the heater. Pull the remote wiring through the knockout and into the control box. Using the wire strippers, remove 3 8 of an inch from the end of the remote wires. Locate the seven pin remote interface harness on the PC board. Using the needle nose pliers, carefully pull the harness from the P8 connector on the PC board. Using the wire strippers, remove 3 8 of an inch from the blue and the orange black wire on the remote interface harness or the black orange depending on the application. On the remote interface harness, connect the orange black wire to one side of the remote switch for SPA and connect the other side to the blue wire. Note, if you are setting up your remote for pool operation, connect the black orange instead of the orange black wire. Be sure to attach a wire nut on the unused wire on the remote interface harness. Reinstall the seven pin remote interface harness to the P8 connector on the PC board. Push the control box cover up and screw into place. Turn the power, gas, and system pump back on. Now that the remote is successfully wired to the heater, the heater must be set to the remote mode. Turn the rocker switch to the on position. Push the mode button to switch between pool and spa. Select the appropriate mode and program the temperature to the highest setting available on the control. The actual set point will be controlled by the remote control. To activate or deactivate the remote function, press and hold the up and down arrow buttons for three to five seconds. The second line of the display will alternate even when the unit is off with no demand. Remember, when the heater is in the remote operation, the keypad mode and temp buttons are disabled. Reinstall the front door assembly. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this heater, visit our website at www.raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for additional how-to videos.